Hello friends, this is Professor Yogesh Dalatravani. On behalf of Vidyalanga BSAIT group, I welcome all semester 5 students for this video. I repeat, all semester 5 students, those who have appeared for semester 4 exams, eagerly waiting for the results. So, this video is mainly intended for semester 5 students. In this video, I will brief you about a subject called Network Security, that is called NS. Before I get into the details of the subject, maybe a demo of few topics, let me brief you about the six units which you have in your syllabus. Number one, you have a topic called computer security. Then you have a very interesting topic called cryptography. You will say, what do you mean by cryptography? I'm sure everyone is using WhatsApp. Everyone is using Facebook. You must have seen these days like on WhatsApp, they have started giving the you know intimations to the various WhatsApp users that your messages, calls, they all are encrypted. In fact, many students, they are like surprised. What do you mean by this? In fact, they are scared also. I will give you the idea what basically what exactly they are doing behind that messages are encrypted and all. They are using a concept called cryptography. So what happens is the moment you type a text to your friend, hi, how was your day? This text is called plain text. I repeat, this text is called plain text. If this text, you transmit it over a public network like internet, what happens? Any attacker can get access to that. So that entire text gets converted to some encoded format that's called cipher text. So cryptography is very straightforward. It's like converting your plain text to a cipher text. In your syllabus, you have introduction to the cryptography, basic techniques you have in unit number one, then unit number two and unit number three, you uh, have a topic called symmetric key algorithms and asymmetric key algorithms. Now you may be wondering why sir has written star to, uh, I mean uh, added a star to each and every topic that is from starting from one to three. The reason is these are the three very very important topics for your entire syllabus which students find it very difficult to cope up. The reason is straightforward. You have algorithms in this which you have to implement it in the lab maybe by using .NET which you have a subject in this semester or maybe by using Java which is already covered in the last semester in fact you have advanced Java I repeat these are the three important topics which will cover cryptography that's all about I hope you remember it's all about converting the plain text to our cipher text so these are the three topics that straightforward in unit number four they have given the application of digital certificates I will give you one simple example the moment you try to open a website sometimes you get worried am I on a real website or I am on a fake website that's called phishing attack so what happens is browser a very friendly browser will do one favor for you that browser will check the certificate of the server's website that whether this particular website is fake or not if it's fake you will get a pop up so that's the concept of digital certificates then you have topics like firewall VPN and then protocols Remember, the moment you see HTTPS, not only on banking websites or on Facebook, the protocol behind that is called SSL Secure Socket Layer. Similarly, we will be learning many protocols. The last topic is user authentication. From the name itself, there are various ways to authenticate the user. Number one, the basic technique which we have is it's called like entering the user ID and password, which is a normal way on Facebook also, on Gmail also. Maybe on the banking website, you type your account number and your IPIN number. So these are the six. To be honest, the name of the subject should have been cryptography and network security instead of network security. The reason is straightforward. Three topics covering the major part of cryptography. The rest three, they are covering the remaining parts, maybe the applications of cryptography. So <clears throat> now let me focus on this first unit. It's called are computer security and cryptography before I get into the cryptography being a demo lecture I want to cover a very important topic it's called need of security introduction already I have given you now I'm trying to focus on a topic called need of security now from the diagram it looks complicated don't worry it's a very very simple diagram <coughs> number one point which you have to remember is in this diagram, we will be learning the need of security. This is LAN 1, which is called, I'm sure you all know, local area network, private network of Vidyalagar, let's say, of uh, another branch. Host A, 
host means a machine which has internet access. It's trying to communicate with a machine called host X. Maybe it is in Andheri. X branch one is trying to communicate with branch two. Now, you all know the option which we have is through public network called internet. And the problem is attacks. Attackers are working 24 by 7. They try their best to get the details, the passwords, the credit card numbers, the banking details of each and every internet user. So what is covered in this diagram is, these are the few points. Number one, it's called host security. That is on each and every host, you have to provide security. Now, I'm sure everyone is using laptop, computers, how you provide the security? Number one, antivirus, personal firewalls, or you can encrypt your data on the hard disk and store it so that maybe you want to hide it from your siblings and your know, parents they should not be in a position to see what you have kept on that particular drive so you can encrypt it second you have database security always store your data in the ciphertext now the moment i say ciphertext means you have to deal with the algorithms okay so again the application is before you that's database security third what you have is the server security already i have given you the app the mechanism through which you can achieve that it's called digital certificates i mean the unit number four i hope you can see and then you have a user authentication topic that is using the user id and password that is the person is trying to use any service should provide the user id and password example telnet service ftp service but telnet ftp i hope you all know these are not secure we have alternates for that then Network security, that is within the private network, you want to provide the security. Fifth, the most important area where we need security, it's called internet security. Where you can make use of different protocols or you can also make use of digital certificates concept. Sixth, most important OS security, that is Windows will provide you the security or maybe Linux will provide you the security not only for the network but also for the host. Now, before I wind up this video, let's quickly revise what we have started with. First, I have given you a brief overview of six units. Already I told you the name of the subject should have been, I hope you remember, cryptography and network security because 50% it covers algorithms. The rest, it covers various topics, digital certificate, firewalls and all. Quickly, let's quickly revise what we have covered. So how many areas, uh, I mean, how many areas are there will be in security? Number one, host. That second, database. Third is your server security. Fourth, you have network security. Fifth, you have internet security. Sixth, you have OS security. In short, you can correlate all the areas with the syllabus. So, how to provide the security? We will be learning in this. Now, this is Yogesh Valatamani. I invite all the BSAIT students, semester 5 students to enroll for this subject. Don't take this subject lightly because you have practicals for that. Please visit the nearest branch of Vidyalanka. Again, this is Yogi Jatamani signing off. Thanks for watching the video.